Georgi Zakrevsky, the founder and leader of the Paladin paramilitary group, has publicly called on Russian military and security personnel to overthrow the current regime in Moscow. He slammed President Vladimir Putin for what he described as a vertical of power made up of scoundrels and sycophants who constantly lie about the prosperity of Russia. According to open source information, fighters from the Paladin private military company have participated in conflicts in Africa and Syria, according to UA Wire media outlet. Speaking in a video released on the War Union Paladin YouTube channel, Zakrevsky declared, Our country is not just on the brink of disaster, we are already in disaster. Drones are flying all over central Russia, up to Moscow and St. Petersburg. They even attacked the Kremlin. Our Black Sea fleet is being decimated as if we are a third-rate country, not a great power with a large fleet. Our aviation is practically not working because it is also being worn out. We are stagnant at the positions we reached over two years ago, and in some places we have even retreated. The population is dying out, becoming impoverished, and turning to drink, and nobody cares. They only manage to bring in more migrants. All of this has been orchestrated by the so-called president, the great Putin. Zakrevsky emphasized that this situation cannot continue, citing a level of incompetence that cannot even be imagined. He called on everyone to join their union to save the country. The point of no return has already been passed. It will be very difficult regardless, but the longer this continues, the worse it will get, he stressed. He openly criticized the current power structure, describing them as a bunch of rogues and sycophants. They present some herd as the future of Russia, and today's people who have seized power in my country are simply complete scum, who appoint their own kind. There is limited information available about the Paladin group online. Although the organization's YouTube channel suggests it is a military union, the Paladin website explicitly identifies it as a private military company with fewer than 300 personnel. The website states that the group has been involved in conflicts in Africa and Syria and claims it is guarding three strategic sites. The headquarters of Paladin is located in Moscow. In February 2023, Georgi Zakrevsky, offered 250,000 or $6,080 to Ukrainian soldiers for the capture of soldier Sergei Makarenko from the Ukrainian Armed Forces 95th Assault Brigade. Zakrevsky also offered a bounty for foreigner Joshua Lopez, who was helping the Ukrainian Armed Forces clear Russian troops from the village of Petropavlivka in Kharkiv Oblast's Kupiansk region, as well as, for his comrades, 500,000 rubles or $5,600 for the commander, 1,000, 100,000 rubles or $1,120 for comrades. Russian courts have received more cases of soldiers accused of leaving their units without permission so far in 2024 than were registered for all of 2023, according to independent Russian media. Newsweek media outlet says that since the start of this year, Russian courts have gotten 5,204 cases of military personnel accused of abandoning their positions without authorization. Russian opposition outlet Media Zona reported that throughout 2023, the courts logged 5,096 cases, according to the outlet. Since the early months of the almost two-and-a-half-year-old war in Ukraine, there have been high reported cases of desertion and soldiers leaving their posts. Indications of poor conditions for Russian soldiers in Ukraine have frequently surfaced, according to Newsweek. In early April 2023, the UK government said Russia's high number of casualties on the battlefields of eastern Ukraine was tied to pervasive alcohol abuse among Moscow's deployed fighters. The British Defence Ministry said that troops were being forced to improvise filtration attempts using stagnant puddles for daily water requirements. The shortage of drinking water meant Russian forces were likely experiencing spikes in waterborne diseases and dehydration, not to mention low morale and their feelings about how well they can fight, the British Ministry added. In late April, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said desertion was particularly evident in the forces in Russia's southern military district which covers southwestern Russian regions. More than 18,000 Russian soldiers have left the service in the combat units of the district without permission, the Ukraine's military intelligence agency said at the time. Most of these fighters were serving with Russia's 8th Combined Arms Army, long mired in bloody clashes in eastern Ukraine. 
Private military companies, often referred to by the West as mercenary organizations and Storm Z units, which are described as penal military formations, have the highest levels of desertion, Russian independent outlet The Insider reported in late May. Moscow has relied on these fighters for some of the bloodiest fighting in the most intense areas of the front lines in Ukraine. More than 10,000 Russian military personnel have been prosecuted for refusing to serve, including not complying with an order, going AWOL or deserting since September 2022, Media Zona reported in mid-June.